exactly know why, but I feel very happy that Matthew's been allowed a last word. I agree. More than I can say. I knew he'd have a sensible plan. I'm not sure how sensible it is. If the letter is valid, the estate will have to pay death duties twice before it reaches little George. But in the meantime, it will have all the benefit of Mary's interest. I hope you intend to get stuck in. I want the right to an opinion. I shall be content with that. You already have a right to an opinion. Do I? Good. No, certainly you do. In fact, there's a question of using empty farmyards as new sources of revenue. I'd like to know what you feel about that. Well, I'd have to think about it. Crop rotation, livestock versus cereals, or indeed the whole matter of the tax. There are lots of things I would like your opinion on. I assume you're trying to make some sort of point. He's trying to show that a woman's place is in the home. But she knows a lot about Matthew's plans. That has value for me. Mrs Crawley, what do you think? I'm afraid I'm on Mary's side, Robert. If sides there must be. There are no sides, not at all. I'm pleased if you're pleased. I'm just saying you have some work to do. That is, if the letter turns out to be valid. Which you very much hope it is not. I shall keep it on my dressing table to remind me that Matthew is on my side. They're all on your side. Papa gave me such a whacking at dinner. Your father loves you very much. He's also very glad to have Downton back under his control. He always speaks highly of Mr Matthew and the changes he made. I'm sure he's very genuine. But he thinks he can manage alone now. And the question is, can he? Now, I asked Branson to come here because I have an idea. Granny, you must call him Tom. I thought I could call him Branson again now that he's the agent. Well, you can't. I don't mind. No. <laughs> I see I'm beaten, but, oh, how I sympathise with King Canute. Now, what is this idea? Well, Mary, either you or your baby son own half of Downton. I want you to have a say in the running of it. It's just what you need. But didn't last night's dinner disabuse you of that scheme? Yeah, well, that's the point. I want... Uh, uh, Tom. Tom? To be your, your instructor. What? Well, take Mary, you know, on your rounds. Let her learn the farmer's difficulties. Mm. You explain the crops and the, li the livestock. You know, let us see the problems facing the estate. And are we to do all this without telling Papa? Isn't that rather underhand? There can be too much truth in any relationship. <laughs> 